again for making your way out to the cemetery today for this final committal. We'll begin by having the dedication of the grave, which will be offered by Jack Wilhite. I hope I don't take away from the sacredness of this event. Um, the J. Golden Kimball once said that because of persecution, um, he was lear he learned really well how to pray with one eye open. Now I don't have the dedication memorized, so I'm going to have one eye open. So if you see it in the video with my eye open, I'm I'm going to have to kind of follow <laughs> along with this. Okay. Our Father in heaven, by the authority of the Melchizedek priesthood we dedicate and consecrate this burial place as a resting place for Joseph Scott Aldrich. We pray that this spot will be protected and hallowed until the time of the resurrection takes place. We ask Father in heaven for the choicest blessings of peace and comfort upon Joe's family and all those who know him we are grateful for his life, Father. We know that he will be welcomed into thy son's arms, and a small celebration is or will take place as he reunites with thee and thy son. We are grateful for this beautiful day which we have had to get together in the remembrance of Joseph Scott Aldridge. And we do this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are now going to hear a song sung by Joe's granddaughter, Nevea. Try not to fall while walking up here. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we're listening to an ad for a minute. We love Smiths. <laughs> right. So many ads. <laughs> I heard there was a secret chord that gave the plate and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall that made you live. The baffled king composing, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty in the moonlight overthrew ya. <clears throat> she tied you to a kitchen chair. She broke your throne. She cut your hair. And from your lips, she drew the hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 you hear tonight it's not somebody who's seen the light it's a gold and it's a broken hallelujah 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 hallelujah
Wow, that was beautiful. We're now going to take a, a moment of silence so that each one of us we may, may be able to remember Joe and pray in your own ways. Thank you. Our closing prayer today will be given by Jack Wilhite. And then I'll have a few, a few uh, brief announcements here at the end. Our Father in heaven, we are, we feel blessed to have known Joe. We're sad that he has been called home, but we're grateful for the blessing that he was in our lives. We're grateful, Father, to know that he is in thine hands, in thy presence. We're grateful, Heavenly Father, to know that life continues on. We're grateful for the spirit that bears testimony to us of these things. We pray for a special blessing to be upon all who have attended. We're grateful again for our many blessings. We're grateful, Father, for Joe's family and continue to pray for them. Please continue to watch over and bless them and guide them. We say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, those of you who were listed on the program as honorary pallbearers, Dustin Aldridge, Chris Aldridge, Houston Harkness, Cal Harkness, Tim Aldridge, Coulter Black, Otis Nelson, Opie Crowther, James Woodmancy, and Daniel Wadvogel, you're welcome to come up and place your boutonnieres here on the table, and they would be placed in with the urn as it's Baird. Also, the flower bearers, Diane Aldridge, Jennifer Witherspoon, Sheena Aldridge, Lindsay Aldridge, Ali Stacks, Ramona Cannon, Nevea Aldridge, Stacy Mays, and Crystal Chesmore. This will conclude the graveside services today. On behalf of the family, I want to thank you all, especially those of you who spoke and shared special mem memories and messages today. Uh, it'll take the cemetery about 90 minutes to be able to bring in the equipment they need to fill in the grave. So you're welcome to stay here for a few moments, but I know that back at the reception center, there is a luncheon that's being prepared for you um, where we, there will be an open mic for you to continue in fellowship and be able to share some memories. And if anybody would like to come back later this afternoon, once the grave has been secure, you're welcome to do so 
uh, and we encourage you to come back as often as you can. As mentioned in the dedication, it's a sacred place where you'll always be able to come and enjoy the memories and feel the spirit. Thank you very much for allowing me to be a, a small part of this, and please drive safely.